Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Keto with Sammy. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. For today's video, you guys, I wanted to bring one last soup recipe to y'all. Our cold days are gonna be gone very soon, and if you're anything like me, I absolutely love soup season. I enjoy soups all the time. They're so easy to make, they're so comforting, especially on those cold days. Soon we're not gonna be seeing any more cold days, so I just wanted to bring y'all an awesome soup recipe just to end this year and go into a new season. So for today's video, we are going to be making one of my favorite soup recipes, keto loaded cauliflower soup but we are going to be making it with chorizo it is going to have those mexican flavors it's going to be nice and creamy and nice and cheesy so let's go ahead and get straight into this video all right guys so the first thing we got to do we got to chop up some cauliflower so i have two heads of cauliflower right here for my soup and i'm just going to go ahead and chop off the leaves we're going to chop it into florette sized pieces um not too big not too small it is going to get smashed down so it doesn't have to be perfect Go ahead and chop off my ends. I like to just cut my cauliflower in half. And then I kind of just go around the center piece. Cut off all the florets. And they should just be about this size. You can go ahead and cut this in half. But they should be about this size. We're gonna go ahead and cut up two large cauliflower heads and then we'll bring out our Instant Pot. Go ahead and give them a good rinse as well. Okay, I have all my cauliflower chopped up into bite-sized pieces. Now we're gonna go ahead and add it into our Instant Pot. I am making this soup in my Instant Pot today because I absolutely love to make soups in my Instant Pot. It's very quick and easy. But if you don't have an Instant Pot, you can definitely do this over the stove. It's just going to take a little bit longer to get nice and tender. I'm just going ahead and adding my cauliflower to my Instant Pot. And then we're gonna go ahead and add in a liquid broth. Once you have your cauliflower in your Instant Pot, we're gonna go ahead and go in with the liquid. We're gonna add in two cups of just some regular chicken broth. Don't add too much because cauliflower does hold liquid pretty good, so you don't wanna add a whole lot or it's gonna be really watery. So two cups is perfect. Now we're just gonna like pre-season a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with some salt to taste, some garlic powder, and then you're also gonna go ahead and add in some black pepper. After you have in these ingredients, we're gonna go ahead and seal our Instant Pot and get our cauliflower cooking. Go ahead and shut my lid. Make sure it is on sealing. If you do have a knob where you have to turn it, not on venting. We're gonna go ahead and push pressure cook. And you're gonna pressure cook this for eight minutes. So just go ahead and let it come to pressure. And when we're done, we'll release the pressure and smash down our cauliflower. So just give it a few minutes. All right, you guys, while our cauliflower cooks down, we're gonna go ahead and start cooking up some Mexican chorizo. So I have some beef chorizo right here. You could use any brand you'd like. If you don't know what chorizo is, it's just like a Mexican flavored meat with Mexican spices. It's so good. It's great for breakfast. It's great for this soup. It is just great on all kinds of things. Tacos, I absolutely love it. It is not spicy. It is just flavored with Mexican spices. It is absolutely delicious. So we're gonna go ahead and cook it down so we can top it on top of our soup later on. Okay, we have our pan nice and hot. We're gonna go ahead and dump our Mexican chorizo in here. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and smash it down. You're just gonna cook it all the way through. I like to keep it on a low to medium because chorizo tends to pop a little bit. So just be careful, but um, we're just gonna give it a few minutes to cook through while breaking it apart. Okay, after a few minutes, my chorizo is done cooking through. Yes, it is like a little bit of a greasier kind of Mexican meat, but we're gonna go ahead and let it cool down and it's gonna get rid of some of this grease and let's move on to our soup. All right, I went ahead and released the pressure to my Instant Pot and now we're gonna carefully open it up. Okay, so far this is what it should look like. Now we're gonna go ahead and smash it all down. I like to just take a potato masher and it should be super easy just to smash all the cauliflower until all the big pieces are gone. Okay, once your cauliflower is mashed down, we're gonna add in a few more ingredients to make this soup nice and creamy and thicken it up. So you're gonna wanna go in with one fourth cup of heavy cream, as well as one fourth cup of sour cream. And remember, all my ingredients are always listed in the description below for you to go ahead and look at. Once you have your sour cream and heavy cream, now we're gonna go ahead and mix in one cup of shredded cheddar cheese. And we're also doing a mix of this Monterey Jack with jalapenos. We're gonna add in one cup as well, and then you wanna save some more for topping. 
You wanna go ahead and mix everything in and your soup should get nice and thickened, you guys. Go ahead and taste it. If it needs any more salt and pepper, go ahead and re-season if you need to. All right, once you have everything mixed in, you guys, this is what you should be working with. It should be nice and thickened. It's nice and cheesy, nicely seasoned. We're gonna go ahead and serve it up and top it off. All right, guys, it's time to serve up our cauliflower chorizo soup. Oh, it smells amazing. I got a big bowl for myself. I'm gonna go ahead and serve me up a serving. Look at that. Ooh, nice and creamy, nice and chunky, just like we like it. Okay, next, the best part, you're gonna go ahead and top it off with your cooked chorizo, you guys. Trust me, it doesn't look the best, but it is going to taste absolutely amazing. It is going to take this cauliflower soup that much more up a notch it is going to be so good okay then you're just going to go ahead and top it off with some more cheese we got the monterey jack with jalapeno peppers on top this cheese goes so good with the chorizo as well as some shredded cheddar cheese and then last ingredient we're going to top it off with some green onions you could also do some fresh jalapenos in this all right, you guys, and here is the last soup of the season. Here is our keto cauliflower chorizo soup. Now all there's left to do is go ahead and dig in. Let's go ahead and give it a taste try. All right, I am so ready to dig in and give this soup a try. Let me get a little bit of the chorizo with the cheese, the green onion, and let's dig in. Mmm. oh my God. You gotta take like a little bit of the chorizo from the middle and just like mix it everywhere in each bite. My mouth is literally drooling. Mm. You guys, this is so good. It's like, I absolutely loved potato soup growing up, but then you add the chorizo and it just gives it like, just like that kick. Like just a little bit goes a long way mix it in with the soup and it just takes it up a notch like it is just absolutely amazing this is this is just going to be the way i'm going to be eating cauliflower soup all the time y'all definitely need to give this soup a try you guys come back to this video comment down below let me know what y'all think if y'all enjoyed it if you've been following me for a while you know that loaded cauliflower soup is my absolute favorite soup to have so now i am definitely going to be adding in the chorizo it just takes it up that much more it is absolutely delicious if you enjoyed this video don't forget to share don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and i'll see you on the next one